simplify the complex fraction. Here we have a problem that's a little bit different than the others we've done because on the top here we have two different fractions and we'll think of the 4 as 4 over 1. And on the bottom we have a single fraction already. But we're going to be using the same method as before which is turn the problem into a single fraction over another single fraction and then change divide to multiply by reciprocal. So really part of the job has been done for us because we are given just one fraction on the bottom. That means what we need to take care of is making a single fraction on the top. So we want to do 5x take away 4 over 1. Find a common denominator, which would be x, so we have to multiply the x top and bottom onto the 4 over 1 for it to have the common denominator. And that turns the top into 5 minus 4x over x. And then we just keep the bottom one. 5 minus 4x over 5. And now we're going to change division to multiply by the reciprocal. And remember this, any fraction bar is really a division symbol. It's telling us to divide, so we're going to take 5 minus 4x over x, and instead of divided by, the bottom we're going to multiply it by the reciprocal over the bottom. So 5 minus 4x over x times, flip the bottom one, 5 over 5 minus 4x. And then we can look to see if any canceling takes place. Usually we'd want to factor before canceling. Um, in this case, there's no factoring to do, plus these two right away are the same anyway, so we're going to cancel them out. That leaves us with 5 over x, because the last step in multiplying fractions after you cancel is you just multiply across the top, across the bottom to get your new numerator and your new denominator. So 5 over x would be our final answer.